Hello mathematicians, how are you today? Today we're going to get into lesson number nine in math workshop, continue with decimals. During our last session, we made connections between uh, fraction equivalents and decimals. Today we're going to be comparing decimals using place value chart and we're going to compare decimals using a number line or a tape diagram. The teaching point today is mathematicians use the place value chart to and metric measurements to compare decimals and answer comparison questions. So you can refer to your um, vocabulary sheets as, that is attached to your math um, tools um, for reference. So we're gonna uh, watch a video that's going to help us really understand how to make these comparisons um, of fractions using a place value chart and using um, a number line. Right, this is fourth grade, module six, lesson nine. And in this lesson, students are going to be using a place value chart and uh, connecting it with a meter stick, uh, which really is analog for a number line. So they're going to be thinking about the place value chart. They're going to be thinking about a number line or a tape diagram or a meter stick in order to compare the decimals. And the idea of this is we want students to be able to think more, um, I don't know, I guess, thoughtfully about how to compare decimals rather than just, you know, a classic thing for teachers to do is to say, well, line up the decimals, fill in the missing spaces with zeros, and just look at your numbers. And, and so what that does is that while that allows the student to come up with the right answer, it does not teach the student about decimals and the meaning of decimals and the meaning of the place values and all this sort of stuff. It just helps this kid get the answer. And so what this lesson is about is helping students compare decimals, but doing it in a way where students develop an understanding of decimals, not just develop some sort of trick for how to compare decimals. So let's get started on this. All right, and when I'm starting to teach about comparing decimals, the first thing I often do is I'll take these two numbers and I'll say, which decimal is larger, 0 0.7 or 0 0.11? And I specifically call this 0.11 because I want to ferret out the students who really don't have an understanding of place value and they just listen for the 0.11 versus the 0.7. And because, of course, as you can imagine, a lot of students will say 0.11 is larger than 0.7. And so that helps me understand that, yes, it is going to be worth my time, uh, at least for this group of students, uh, to go through that concept of that number line and either help them remember it or teach it to them in the first place. So the idea is we're going to locate both of these numbers on the the number line, and they both are somewhere between 0 and 1, because they both begin with a 0. And what we want is to remind our students that 0 0.7 is the same thing as 7 tenths. So what does that mean? That means we are going to chop this number line into 10 equal sized pieces. So I'm going to cut it in half and then cut each half into five pieces. So there are our 10 um, intervals. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our 0 0.7, and we're going to 0 0.7, and we're going to just move over 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths. So 7 tenths is going to go right there. All right, so that's 7 tenths. So the idea is, so what about 0 0.11? So we want to think about 0 0.11, and I'll write it again down here, 0 0.11 as, we want to think of it as 1 tenth plus 1 hundredth. So we're doing it like a number bond. So 1 tenth plus 1 hundredth. So what does that mean? Well, that means 1 tenth is right here. That's 0 0.1, and of course here's 0 0.2. So this extra 1 hundredth that we need to do means, and I'm going to have to zoom in, and I'm going to have to zoom in a lot, that means we need to cut this interval, because here's our 1 tenth that we've done. Now we need to add 
one more hundredth, uh, I mean one hundredth. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this interval, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to cut that interval into ten spaces. Now each of these is considered a hundredth, and we want to go one of those spaces. And so this location right there, that location is our, what I had previously called uh, 0 0.11, but it's really 11 hundredths. It's really one tenth plus one extra hundredth. So when we zoom out, and now we can compare, so one hundredth, I mean uh, 11 hundredth really goes right over here. So it's so small, I won't really be able to put it where it needs to go. So I had to draw a little arrow. So the idea is now which number is bigger, 0 0.7 or 0 0.11? And we want students to understand that the decimals further to the right are larger than the numbers on the left. Because you can kind of imagine it being like, let's say we were using tape and 0 0.7 is this much tape. And I got to put that back. Okay. There we go. Uh, so zero, 0 0.7 is this much tape. Meanwhile, 0 0.11 is that much tape. And so you can see that 0 0.11 is way smaller than 0 0.7. So that's the idea. 0 0.7 is way smaller than 0 0.11. All right. Um, what we're trying to do is avoid teaching students tricks that are kind of like based on alphabetizing or something like that, where we don't really have our students thinking about the meaning of each of the decimal places. Uh, and so when we have students placing things on a number line or using tape diagrams, it's really causing our students to think critically about the place value. So here's an example of Eureka Math where they're saying, hey, let's use the tape diagrams in order to identify each of these decimals. And then that's going to allow us, because it kind of shows us the lengths, the relative lengths of these, uh, you could imagine like pieces of tape. Uh, it allows us to compare. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this one. And so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six tenths right there. So that starts with six tenths, but then we need to zoom in. So I'm going to zoom in here. And so we started with six tenths, and then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hundredths. So what we've got is we've got six tenths plus we have eight hundredths. So that is 0 0.68. So that is our value for this one. Now this one's pretty straightforward. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that one's very straightforward. It's just seven tenths, 0 0.7. And what you can do is you can see that 0 0.7 is just barely larger than 0 0.68. In fact, it's just larger by two hundredths, a very tiny amount. And then here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's 0 0.5, as in 5 tenths. And then again, right here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's 4 tenths, but we need to count these little hundredths, so I'm going to zoom in. So we had 4 tenths, and now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 hundredths as well, so that becomes 0 0.5. Four, four. Zero point four, four, as in four tenths plus four hundredths. Right. So now, now that we can see, we can actually see the relative lengths, so we can compare. But now, if we were going to sort these to go from shorter, wait, write the write a sentence that compares the two lengths. What is it? 
Express the lengths of the shaded parts in decimal form. Write a sentence that compares the two lengths. What? What two lengths? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. We're supposed to. Oh, I see. There's only two of them right here. Duh. Okay, sorry. All right. So there you go. So write a sentence and use the phrase shorter than or longer than. So which one? What do we want to talk about? Well, which one's longer? Well, 7 tenths is longer than 0.68 or 68 hundredths. So if we wanted to, we could say 7 tenths is shorter than. Now, I mean, is longer than. And so if we wanted to, eventually we're going to be using these symbols. So we're going to use the is greater than symbol. And the idea is it's um, this side is longer than this side. This is a little, tiny little short side, and this is a long side. So you can think of it that way. Uh, 7 tenths is bigger than 0 0.68. Same thing down here. We have to do some comparing. And, oh, this time let's put the 0 0.44 first. And then what are we going to do? How are we going to compare these two? Um, well, which one's bigger? Well, 0 0.5 is bigger than 0 0.44. And so we, we want the symbol to go this way. Now, I know in other Eureka modules it says think about this as an alligator and all that sort of stuff. But we can also say, hey, these tips is wider than this piece, so that means 0 0.44 is smaller, because that's the small part, than the bigger part, which is 0 0.5. Let's get some practice in. We want to make certain that we are meeting our goal of comparing decimals using place value chart as well as um, using either a number line or a um, uh, tape diagram. So I want you to go in and uh, complete the assignment that has been assigned to you on iReady and then I want you to go into Zern and complete the independent practice for lesson number nine. Please refer to your tools. Please be sure to re reach out to a peer or a partner um, of your choice and to make certain that you are self-assessing your work.